Hi guys, this is Hakim. Welcome to my Fluoro 7 tutorials. In this part of the tutorial, I will be working with some of the Fluoro 7 components. If you are just watching my video for the first time or you are new to this channel, please click on the subscribe button as I will be uploading more about Fluoro 7 and other technologies. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, so this is the third part of the Fluoro 7 tutorials. In the previous video, we set up our Fluoro 7 app and initialize the app and also initialize the view. So if you don't know how to set up your Framework 7 app or you want to watch my previous video, I'll be putting the link in the description below. So in this video, we are going to work with some of the Framework 7 um, components. Actually, in the last video, we set up the, we um, initialized the view, like I said earlier, but we forgot to add, um, <clears throat> we forgot to add this class, um, this div with the class of view, view dash main. So actually, this line of code right here in the app.js is going to initialize the view. So it's going to select the element right here and it's going to use it to initialize the view. So to start working with the framework 7 app, we need to create a page, a page for the app. So page is just basically a page of your, um, your app where you see some apps has settings, profile, home page. So to add the page to our framework 7 app, we just add um, a div with a class of page. page inside the div we are going to add and add and div with the class of page content so this is where um, most this is where most of the components are going to be lo located so let's uh, let's start working with some of the um, component in framework 7 uh, in the framework 7 so actually we can start working with um, let's start working with um, app uh, navbar so a nav by just um nav bar of your app where you see um a a back button type to and option options in the right. Let's just start, let's uh, let's add a nav bar so you are going to know you are going to see how it looks like. To uh, to work with nav bar, you just create a div with um with the class of nav bar inside the div. We create under you yeah, we add under div. In class of navbar dash in a so basically um so basically all the navbar um contents are going to be inside this um in a so the navbar has um three options which is um left title and right so um the left any any content you put in the left div is going to push uh, position in the left while any content you put in the um title is going to be the title and any other content you put in the right is going to be positioned in the right so let's add the left div so add the left div just create um a class let's get, let's add a test of left so that we're going to so that we'll see how it looks like and let's add the title so actually it, it works like this um left come first tie to come second why the last is um right so let's add a text of tie two to it let's add the right and add a text of right to it so let's head over to our app and, and see how it's going to look like so as you can see we have um enough bar of with with left um with left text a tie to text and a right text at right so right now the nav bar is actually transparent because we've not add um a background to the nav bar so that's why you are seeing the page um the page um background through the nav bar so let's add a back um let's add a background to the nav bar so to add a background to the nav bar is quite easy just add a div with the class of nav bar dash Pg. let's see so um let me resize this um this window so that we can work with the two of the windows at the same time so as you can see we've added um a background to the nav bar so the next thing we are going to do we are going to add um a, a left icon that is a back button to this left icon so that it's going to look like um a real a real um app nav bar so let's add something like this to it. So let's um 
actually I didn't spell this left right sorry for that so let's add it to add it let's add um an anchor tag which link of hash because it's going nowhere then let's add a class to the anchor tag so class with um class of link and back so actually this class of back if if we nav if if um we are to navigate from that from on that page to this page with this class of back um when once we click this um icon which i'm about to add it's going to take us back to the previous page so with this class um you you can navigate back to the previous page without adding any extra codes so actually all these codes um all this stuff are in documentation you can check the documentation so let's add the icon add the icon let's give it a class of icon and icon dash back so let's see how it's going to look like as you can see we have a back um icon a back button icon so um let's change this right test to um a right icon something like this so let's go to write test and remove it and add an icon let's add an an anchor tag let's let's give the class of link so that it's going to give it some styling then let's add an icon to it with the class material class so we are going to use material icons right here so actually you can use any icon of your choice i think um the framework 7 comes with um two two to three icon package which you can use so you can download any icon and install it so the icon we are going to use i think is called an option you no know, it's called more more on the score vat i think as you can see we have um our our option menu right here our more menu rather right here so there are more options to the framework 7 we can add um a subtitle um below this title so let's rename this title to my app my app then let's add a subtitle we'll add a div with the class of sub I too, I think. Yeah. Then yeah, let's um let's add a test of of um of subtitle of sub title. As you can see, there is a subtitle right here. So mostly subtitle is used for um. Let me see. You are creating a chat app where um here you are going to add is typing anytime the user is typing you just um um you are just going to display is typing right here there are other options which can that can work with this nav bar like we can remove this shadow from the nav bar let's remove the shadow to remove the shadow is easy just add um, a class of no shadow we're going to get rid of that shadow over there you can see there is no more shadow in the nav bar so let's let's add let's let's add the shadow that is going to look real so that will be all for the nav bar right now so let's try let's work with cards let's work with cards the card should be inside the page content so i'm going to create a div with a class of block So inside the div, we are going to add the card right now. And we are going to add um, the div with the class of card content. This is where the card content is going to be located. So there's actually, there's actually a card right now, but there's no content inside it. So let's add some text to it. Let's add some dummy text to it. And see As you can see we have our card but this card has no padding 
So let's fix it by adding padding to this card. To add padding to the card um, is quite easy. It's just add um, a class of card a class of card content sorry card content dash padding yeah so right now there is a card content there are other options you can add with cards let's add a, a header and a footer to this card to add a header you just add um, a div with um, with class of card header let's let's add a text of header and let's as you can see our our header is right here so let us let's add the footer if if a footer to the card to so add footer is easy just a class of card footer that's all then let's name it to footer So right now there is a footer to this card you can actually remove the shadow of this card if you don't want it to have shadow there are other options with the, to work with this card you can actually add an, an a logo or icon to this card so let's remove the shadow of this card right now to remove the shadow is is still is quite easy just add no that shadow i think same thing with um yeah same thing with the nav bar so right now there is no shadow to our card so that'll be all for the card you can check the documentation to work to know more about the card there are many options you can work with card with different cards so right now let's um let's work with buttons i'm going to create a, a div with the class of block right here so let's start with our button Let's add our button to it and let's give it add I mean, the name or title of button. Let's add the class of button. Yeah. So actually, this is the default button that comes with Framework 7. So right now the button has no um, background to it so to add a background to the button is quite easy let's duplicate this line to add a background just add a class of button button dash fill yeah as you can see our button has a background right now so let's make this button small we can make it small let's make it small right now to make it small just add a class of button that's small i think uh, let's add a break tag to it so that we'll be able to differentiate the buttons so right now we have a small button let's add another button and make it large i don't think so to make the button large as name implies just add a class of button dash large yeah large large right now we have a large button we can actually make this button round so let's try and make this button round right now so let's duplicate this line and let's add a break tag to it that and let's add the let's make the button round to make the button round is easy just add a class of um, button dash round. So as you can see, the button is now round. So there are a lot of options to this button to change the colors. There are a lot of um, options like different colors of buttons. So you can check the documentation to know more about the buttons. So the, that would be all for buttons. So the next thing we are going to do, we are going to work with um, actually let's work with um grid so if you know if you know how to work with um css grid and flexbox this um the grid that comes with framework 7 won't be that difficult for you actually i found myself using this grid um 
I I build app without without using flexbox or CSS grid. So it's it's basically almost the same thing they are doing. So let's start working with the um grid. So we are going to start working with the grid um <coughs> somewhere above this button. So let's add the um let's add the div with the class of block. So The grid is similar to other grids where you have um, a row and you have column. So let's add the row, the first row. So inside the row, we are going to add a column. So what you are going to do, I'm going to copy this card right here. So I will work with the card. Let's copy the card right here. And paste it here. So right now there is no more different um uh, different compared to this first card let's actually remove this shadow no shadow from it so now there is no difference compared to the first card so what you are going to do now this is just one column so it's going it's going to take 100 percent of the weight so let's add under column so that they are going to take um they are going to take 50 percent each of the weight so right now um our cards are taking 50 percent each the, the left card is taking 50 percent and and the right card is um taking 50 percent so in the next um row what you are going to do we are going to add um and we are going to add another row which we are going to make um the card on the left take um 40 while the card at the right take um 60 percent of the weight so let's do that right now. Let's duplicate um, this row. Well, this stuff is, is messed up right now. So to make um this left um the, the card at my left take 40%, it's quite simple. Just add dash 40 which means 40 percent and the other card we add dash 60 to the row dash 60 which means um 60 percent so let's refresh it and see as you can see the first card took um 40 percent why the second card um took um took 60 percent there are more options to this um to this um grid you can actually add make this column have have no gap to themselves. So let's make it has have no gap. To make to make the column have no gap, we, we just add um no dash gap to it to the row right here. So you are going to see that you are going to see that this um this this first card. This first card, the spacing between this first card is smaller compared to the spacing between this um, second row right here. So it's because we added this um, no dash gap. Let's remove it and you can see. We're able to see the difference. You can see they went back. No, okay, okay. Let's let's actually add it in the let's add it right here so that we're going to see the um no dash gap yeah okay as you can see right now the there is there is no there is no much gap between the um there is no gap between the column rather so the only um gap you are seeing here is between the um card so there's no gap between the column so if you have, if we remove this class right now, no dash gap, you are going to see there will be gap um, between this um this columns. So let's remove the class. So so as you can see there are there are gap between the um the gap is different compared to compared to when we added the, that class called no dash gap. So that will be all for now for um with 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 grid so um the next thing we are going to work with is list let's actually comment this um 
let's comment this this grid out so um let's start working with let's start working with list so to start working with list um let's add a div of with the class of block class of block so there are actually um three three type of list i think there's a simple list where you just add the list um it's not that complicated where there is a list with um with links and there is a list with media um uh, where you can add icon position element so let's start with the simple list start working with the simple list we create a div with a class of list so inside the div we add a um, ui tag so we add a the list tag so let's give it um list so actually this should be simple list simple list simple dash list so let's um let's change this to link one link let's change it to link we we give it a class of list simple dash list so actually now we have our list so we can add another list which is going to have um have a link so um mostly the um the link list is used to navigate to pages where you list an item and you add um you add a page to it once the user click the list is going to open on that page so let's do that right now let's duplicate this line and let's give it a class of link link list and let's add an um anchor tag let's give it a test of link link list sorry links i think it's links list okay as you can see there is um this this icon right here um shows um shows that it's a link um list so once the user click here it it's going to open on that page depends on how the um how you how you work your app so the next list we are going to look on is um the media list so that the the media list is is a list that give us option to add icons add um logo and uh, stuff like that so let's start working with the uh, media list so to start working with the media list let's duplicate this line so we are going to add um list dash media list media media list inside the list item we are going to add um a div with a class of with a div with a class of item content so this is where the item is going to be div with class of item content so inside the div inside the div we are going to add another div with the class of item media so basically this is where we are going to add the logo or the icon item media this is where we are going to add the logo or the icon so let's add let's add an icon to it the framework 7 icon will give the class of icon and icon dash f7 f7 so outside the um so below this uh, below this class we are going to add under div so this is where the um the header the body of the list is going to be so we are going to add under div called item dash inner inside this item dash inner 
so inter inside this item dash you know we're going to add a div of item item dash header so this is where the header of the um of the list is going to be let's just give it header let's add um title title of the div so let's give it title dash title so this will be the title then outside this um so outside this class right here we're going to add an after and after basically mean um something like this as you can see we have we have a list with um with the title so let's add something after this title so add um a text or or an icon after this after the title we just add a div with a class of after item dash after item dash after and let's just give the test of after actually it should be um outside this inner item dash inner as you can see it's it's right here at the at the right so let's add um let's add header to this to this list you can actually add a header so let's duplicate this stuff and put header right here and let's rename this to header as you can see there is a header there is a title and there is an there is an after so actually you can you can check the documentation for more options so you can actually add a logo to this and add um a text under here so if you are working with the let me say let me say you create a chat app so you want to list the list the users that list the users so you are going to put um the user um image then the name of the user then let me say some of some of the user message like some of the user message then here could be um chat icon or something like that so that would be all for the um that would be all for the list for the list so the next component we are going to work with is forms so let me comment this um or actually let me just leave it right here let me leave it right here so let's add um a div with the class of block so that we can start working with the form so so to start working with the form is similar to list we um, add a div with the class of list the class of list then we add a ui you um ul tag sorry ul tag add a ul tag so we add um we add we add a li tag with the class of with the class of um item dash content class of item dash content and item dash input dash input we add it with the class of item dash media so basically um if you are to add a logo to um let me say an icon to to your um input so this is where it's going to be so let's add an icon to it so let's add an icon to it let's add an icon let's use material icon dash icons and let's add let's add the same icon here because i don't really know um this icon offhand i think we, it was more underscore that i think we are going to create an add with the class of item dash inner item dash inner so this is where um the label of your um input is going to be so inside the item dash inner let's add another div of item dash tie to dash tie to yeah and let's add let's 
add the label of name and it should be under class called item dash label I think I spelled the label well so right now um let's add the input itself so to add the input add under that div called with class of item class of item dash input dash wrap so inside the div we are going to add our input input yeah and we are going to add a placeholder of name i'm going to add we are going to add a text a type of text of text So let's um, let's save it now and see the input. So actually, um, this icon didn't show up. I think um, Materia or oh, we spell it wrong. So as you can see, there is an icon right here. So actually, let's remove um, these lines right here, right here. To remove the lines, let's add um, a, a class of no hairlines, I think. Yeah. As you can see, we have our form right now. We can add um we can add a cancel but a uh, cancel icon to here. So when you type, you just if you make a mistake, you want to clear everything. So you just click on the icon. So let's add that right now. So the, to add the icon, we add a tag or span, span tag. Add the class, add the class of input, input dash clear, dash clear, dash button. Okay, right now, if once we type, um, type, type in this input so this button is going to show up so once you click it um it's going to delete everything the input feed so actually all this stuff are in the documentation you can check the um the documentation so there are more options to this um to this input so you can check the documentation if you want to know more about the input i think this video is getting long than i expected so i think this will be the end of the video of of working through with the frame or seven component so if you want to know more about the company just visit the website and read the documentation in our next video we'll be working with um, navigation we'll be working with navigation and working with route so that will be all for now if you find this video helpful please like and share and also if you've not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video thank you